This is Ian Clark. When we were kids, we were all told the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Red represents passion, and yet it also represents violence and blood. A hood represents something that covers our mind completely. She sets off with things for her grandmother, a very obedient child indeed. Yet it is passion and not devotion that is on her mind. So in a distant place, a wolf eats her grandmother. A wolf commonly represents a lusty male. This is because the searching process is like a hunt, and the sexing process is a kind of meat eating, a kind of killing. The Chinese call a horny man a selang, or a wolf of the material world. But oddly, when passionate, people's eyes turn into rouyan, or eyes of the flesh. The flesh eyes, according to Buddha's scriptures, are blind to practically everything. Intellectual eyes, or huiyan, can perceive a bit more, but no eyes can see more than the spiritual ones, the foiyan. When impassioned, Riding Hood gets to her grandmother's house. Riding Hood only has the rouyan, so she can perceive very little. The wolf is absurdly dressed in her grandmother's clothes, but she is fooled. He says he wants to be family, that he loves her, that he honors his elders. When he has eaten her family, and destroyed her dedication to family, but by the grace of a cool, collected hunter. There is a happy ending. He coolly kills the wolf of passion, and saves the victims of passion. He does not seek marriage with the girl. He has no conditions. He merely does his job, and walks away. Now that, my friends, is a good bedtime story.